And welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play CSI. Being a bit more careful with the stupid voice there. Last time we completed Garvey's B in pretty quick time actually. Obviously I did have to re-record it, which I pointed out many times already. And uh, we ended up with a recreated murder. From a professor with multiple personality disorder. So yeah, kind of feel bad about that. Not, not nice for the guy. Anyway, we're now moving on to more fun than a barrel of corpses. What a lovely title for a case. That chill music, though. Something's just come up. We've received a strange call, and I want you to check it out. Warwick Brown's the best we have in audio-visual analysis, and this gives you an opportunity to work at his side and benefit yes. from his experience. He's in the lab right now. We get to work with hey, Warwick. I hear you're the bomb, rookie. I'm Warwick Brown. I could use another pair of ears on this. Some crackpot called our dispatcher and left a vaguely threatening message. Normally we could trace the call, but it's some kind of blocked number. Prepaid cell phone card, maybe? We do know it was placed within the Vegas phone grid. I got this baby queued up on the computer. All right, let's go check it out. Las Vegas Criminalistics Bureau. I've got more work for you to do. I'm sorry, who is this? You never could keep good people. Who's going to help you now? Can, can What's I with the elephant? The they can come find me themselves. Tell them I'm not done yet. Casino? It doesn't sound all that friendly, does it? Click to highlight the parts of the waveform. Let's see if we can isolate any useful sounds. I've got more work for you to do. Sounds like it was digitally altered. No help. Where was the elephant? I'm sorry, who is this? You never could keep good people. Who's going to help you now? Hey, what's up with that? What was that, an elephant? Yeah, I had that too. Bear with me, guys. I'm to adjust my pop filter. And then at the end, we heard... They can come find me themselves. Tell them I'm not done yet. Okay. You got your crowd of people, bells, and electronic whistles. That'd be a casino. Recognize the melody right away. Okay, here's where you don't have to be as smart as Grissom. We search for the casinos in town with elephant acts. Got it. Seems we got elephants at the Monaco Casino. Only in Vegas. Yep, doesn't surprise me. So let's go check it out then, I guess, Warwick. You're the trainer here? Dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. You guys look official. We are criminalists from the Las Vegas Crime Lab. Our dispatcher caught a threatening call we think may have been made at the casino here and back. Alright. The dirt around this barrel seems disturbed. Must have been moved. But without a warrant, we need an awful good reason to open it. It's a shame. Uh, I'm not seeing much at the minute. We check the elephant. To you too. Was not saying much. He's about as helpful as his trainer was. Why? Oh, my detection things came up. Why did my? We can't use that here. 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 Hey, summit came up. There's nothing special there. This comes up here. for a reason. We can't use that here. We can't use that here. Alright, I'm just admitting defeat. But so it it See so he's done it again. Or does it just automatically do that whenever you zoom in enough on something? Can you give us permission to open the barrel? I'm just in charge of the animals. Only the transport day manager can give you the permission to open that. Sorry. I don't think we've got time for that. What can you tell us about that barrel? Well, those barrels are owned by the casino. But that one? I'm pretty sure that one was up against the wall a little while ago. Have you seen anybody acting suspicious? You knew in Vegas? Everybody's suspicious in this circus. 
but I wouldn't say I've seen anything out of the ordinary. Alright, not helpful. Phone! Hello. This is doubtful. If our caller used this, we could have traced it. But if Gris was here, he'd say, be thorough. So, we'll be thorough. I suppose you have got a point. We would have been able to trace that. Not got much to go on, really, have we? Yeah, no, okay, um, yes to the lab. Yes? All we've got is a print. Nothing. Either our perp is in an aphis, or these prints are somebody else's. Nuts! Brass? What can I do for you? Barrel? All you have is a mystery barrel at a casino? Sorry, you know I need something more than that to get you a warrant. Oh, fuck! I still feel like I'm missing something here. You can tell I've not done this case for a long time. Sorry, wish I could help you some more. I wish you could too. That'd be great. Oh, hello. Try using a similar tool. Uh, we can't use that here. Oh, okay. It didn't look like Somebody it was deep into the cast. Hurry. This may be a long shot, but my gut says we ought to cast this. It's we just complete. did. Might have been smudged by foot traffic. At least I got something. That's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Thank God I noticed that. Hey, guys. What's up? We ain't got a lot to go on. Sorry. Can't do anything with that. Fine. I'll search it myself. Yay! Something! Okay. Not an exact match. God. At least we're narrowing this baby down. Somebody Damn it. Somebody driving a small pickup or SUV. That's who we're looking for. Helpful! Not. I can't help you until you find some solid evidence. Yeah, fucking wish I could, mate. Do you know anybody with an SUV? Nope, but I did step inside for some dinner about an hour ago. <sighs> really, you are just useless. I can't help you until you find some solid evidence. <sighs> we need a way to see inside the barrel. Try the infrared camera. Oh, I hate myself. Oh, that's not good. Heat signature. Looks like somebody's in there. Let's open it. Now. Oh, damn. This is not good. Looks like our caller just graduated from prankster to murderer. What's... Is that? Looks like she's broken out in a rash of some kind. It's concentrated around her nose. Was she sick? Sod that. She's got... We've seen that before. Can we get a swab of... We can't use that here. Okay, I just... Something, yeah. 
Could be she picked him up from something inside the barrel. But they also could have gotten there when she first hit the ground. Or maybe she was dragged, pulled along, through the dirt, or whatever else she was lying in. Can we get a sample? Try using a similar tool. Try using a similar tool. Sticky? Sticky. Brownish looking. Oh, I don't want to know that. This is different. The stain looks like soil. Alright, well, we have a body now. Guess we'll go to the morgue and find out a bit more. Ah, good. Hoping to talk to the two of you. Just finished my examination of your victim. Uh, what was the time of death first? Recent, but hard to figure out from body temp since the barrel could have trapped heat. No rigor mortis yet, so it must have been within the last six hours. Okay, cause of death? Cardiac arrest due to severe anaphylactic shock. English? Bee sting allergy or similar anyway. No signs of an insect sting, but it hit a respiratory system hard. I'll know for sure after the autopsy, but my educated guess? Death due to a violent allergic reaction to something environmental. Was she allergic to anything? Hay fever. Pulled her records after I saw the swelling, the redness around her sinus region. Did a nasal swab. Pollen present. That's some severe hay fever. Okay. Um. Hey, Greg. We need your help. Pronto. I'm your man. My man. Okay. Uh, pollen swab. What we have here is pollen, but, and here it gets interesting, not from a single species. Quite an exotic mix, really. Pinch of Spanish bayonet, dash of tiger aloe, sprinkle gently with choya cactus, and voila, a sneezer salad. Printed all the ingredients out for you. Check with Brass, though. He can help track all these down. Okay. At least we have a lead again now. That was not a good start. Oh. Uh, sticky stain. Sap. Oh, no offense, guys. Hard to narrow down just what type of tree. Best match I can make is a variety of red oak. Okay. And this? Dirt some kind of plant soil. Different from the kind you'd find in an elephant pen. Right. Okay. Well, that leaves the next best bet to be brass, then. Work this case hard and smart and make it go away. Fast. Believe me, I'm trying. It's not so much who she was as who her father is, Carlo Benedetti. She is, was, Sofia Benedetti. Daddy's a major Vegas player, and I'm not talking slot machines. Three casinos on the Strip, including the Monaco, two more downtown, a regional airline, and that's just Nevada. Right now he's in Singapore closing a deal. Numbers the mayor and our governor among his closest friends. So, you know, no pressure, guys. Great! Because I love that. When was she reported missing? Last night, Sophia never showed up for a fundraising dinner. I got people out interviewing her friends, see what we can turn. Let you know if we get anything but a handful of air. Okay. Can we search her home? Don't hold your breath. She lived with her parents, and we're already getting pressed by the family and his honor's office to keep this one under the radar and out of the papers. You give me a good reason, I'll get you in there. Otherwise, sorry. Okay, fair enough. Uh, list of floropellon. Pollen. Blackfoot Daisy, Madagascar, Periwinkle. Hmm. Not many indigenous to Nevada on this list. Sophia was reported missing yesterday, so it's not possible she could have traveled recently to all of the location sources of these species. You're looking for a garden? Try the Desert Demonstration Gardens. All right, we have a new location. Thank God. Okay. Not doing well, this one. The pollen in the victim's system tells us she may have been here shortly before she died. The greenskeeper reported seeing a woman matching Sophia's description around this area. Let's treat it like a crime scene and process it. Those birds are suspicious. Damn, it's locked. Alright, we can't get in there without a warrant. When you go through garbage at a potential crime scene, you sometimes find treasure, sometimes trash. 
There's no way to tell at this point which one it is, but let's look for trace evidence before we collect it anyway. Okay. Sorry. May jump the gun a little bit there. Small hair. Yep. But we could just be looking at someone's garbage. It's, you know, still worth a try. That looks important. We can't use that here. Never mind. Uh, let's look around this way. There's a tire print. There we go. Uh, let's hello. Take a sample of that dirt back to the lab. Have Greg try and match it to the stains we found on Sophia's pants. We can't use that here. 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 You told me to take a sample. Really, tweezers? Tire treads and the dust. We're waiting to use that one. The grass is flattened here. Consistent with someone lying on it recently. Is there any sap around? No? Because that's what we could do with. We could do with knowing about the sap as well. But I don't think there's anything else. Alright, well, let's just get back to Greg for now. I'm not very good at this game anymore, really, am I? Hey, guys. What's up? Alright. As used tissue goes, this one's fresh. Nasal discharge clear and yellow. Means not a cold. Allergy sufferer, most likely. But I found something else. White powder traces. Drugs? We're not talking coke. Not recreational. Medicational. C5H9N3. Maximine. Experimental drug treatment used in clinical trials. Serious health issues. Malignant melanoma, certain forms of leukemia. Okay, well, we need to find another sample of that somewhere. The dirt. What we have here, children, is soil. Perfect for our prickly pal, the cactus plant. Yeah, does it match? Now prepare to adore me even more than you already do, for I have matched the sample from the garden to the dirt on the Vic's pants. Thank you. All right, so that's a match. I just scan these, don't I? Or do I? Luckily, the follicle was fairly complete, though I needed the thermocycler to amp the DNA. But I got a stronger sample now. On the other hand, a coded search came up bupkis, and I'm waiting for Doc Robbins to send over the Vix DNA to do a comparison. Want to help speed things up? Go over and get that sample from the morgue. All right, let's let's do that. We'll do that real quick. Yes. Seriously, you keep doing that. Did you show any signs of cancer? Cancer? Certainly not. This was a very healthy young woman, apart from her allergies. Okay, any tra traces of Maximine? First, Maximine's a trade name. What you mean is histamine dichloride. Whatever! Really I don't know. Drug. We all naturally have histamines in our systems. In this case, however, our victim's levels were off the charts, which would have made her hypersensitive to certain allergic environments. A stroll through a garden could have killed her. Uh, it's gone back to murder again now. How common is it? Histamine dichloride is still an experimental treatment for cancer. Only pharmacists and patients in clinical trials would even have access to it. Okay. And sample of DNA. Timing is everything. I was just preparing one. Here you go. Alright, Greg, we got your sample. Yes? So here's the upshot. The victim's DNA matches the mucus in the tissue, thus the tissue is used by the victim. The hair is not a match, but its former owner might have well had contact with the victim, and not long before her death. Alright, so we've got a hair. That could possibly link. We know the tissue our victim used had Maximine on it. So whoever wanted Sophia dead sprinkles the tissue with the drug and makes sure she uses it. Walking through the garden, Sophia's allergies kick in big time. She's thrown into acute anaphylactic shock as the histamines flood through her bloodstream. In seconds, she's dead. Man, can this someone with their allergies? What a dick move. Yes? 
Let's check out this tire print. That one looks a bit too worn to be able to tell. Oh, well, match! Not definite, but not bad. 70% match through the all season. Okay. Might help us build our case. Not bad then. It's a close match. I wasn't done with that. Sometimes the magic works. We got an all season. Standard or the current L160 pickups, which means we've narrowed things down to the few hundred around the state. We need a bit more limit than that, really. Uh, I don't think there's much else we can do here. Brass! Tell me you got something yes. for me. Not that pops up. That drug is in phase two. Only a few small test groups around the country. Okay, any pharmacists? Just one. On Town Center Drive in Summerlin. Alright. We have a lead. Good. Las Vegas Crime Lab. You're the pharmacist here? Yes, Lita Callisto. Is this an investigation of some kind? Yes, it is, Miss Callisto. It's a murder investigation. We'd like your help. Few questions. Okay, did Sophie Benedetti get her prescriptions filled here? Benedetti. I'll check. That's nope. a cash register. We don't have that name on file. On the other hand, she could be one of our over-the-counter customers. Big part of our business. Do you carry Maximine? Maximine? I'm not familiar with that, but I'll take a look. Well, I guess we do carry it. Or anyway, we did. Had one order placed for that product not long ago, but it was filled, picked up, who? According to the database, Dr. Edward Wilkinson. When did you last see him? Not for a while, but he's probably at his downtown office. We got anything else or is that... Wow. Anything else? I have to finish some work. I get off soon. Hope I was of some help. I'm guessing you were. We have a new lead. Dr. Wilkinson, I'm Warwick Brown from the Las Vegas Crime Lab. We've got a few questions for you. Always glad to cooperate with the police, but you'll have to move it along. I have patients waiting. Uh, did you know, did you know the victim? I knew her, yes, in that she was a patient. You do understand, of course, that medical information is privileged. Do you have a court-issued subpoena? Otherwise, I'm not free to discuss... All I asked was, did you system. know her? Have you ordered any Maximine? Maximine? I'm a GP, not an oncologist. What use would I have for Maximine? You're in a truck. My second car is a pickup. L160 model. About a month old. Does anybody else have keys to your truck? You know, I'm not sure how to answer that. There are two spare sets, and my wife keeps one for emergencies. But the other one, about a week ago, I noticed it was missing from my keychain. Maybe it fell off. It must be in the house somewhere. Maybe not. Where do you keep your truck? In my garage at home, of course. Like I said, it's a second car. I, I did take some firewood out to my ranch recently. It's the first time I actually hauled anything in it. Where were you when the crime was being committed? My wife and I were together, grocery shopping. It's a little ritual. Every week, something we do as a couple. I suppose she can... Dull, dull, Ask dull. Her. She should be at home right now. Be my guest. Alright, fair enough. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Man, we're going all over the yes, place. Yes, may I help you? Ward Brown, Mrs. Well, Wilkinson, you sound cheerful. Las Vegas Crime Lab. Your husband suggested we speak to you. What would you like to know? Uh, is your husband's truck here? It's in the garage. Go ahead and look. You don't need a warrant. No one here's done anything. Thank you. It's very nice. Uh, did your husband ever discuss patients with you? If you mean has Edward ever violated doctor-patient confidentiality, absolutely not. We're close, Edward and I, but his professional ethics, well, they're impeccable. Okay. Has he ever mentioned the name Sophia Benedetti? I have nothing to say where that little tramp is concerned. That wow. little tramp, Mrs. Wilkinson, has been murdered. That's why we're here. I don't wish that on anyone. Murder. But some people bring bad things on themselves. Look, you're going to find out anyway, so I'll tell you. She tried to come between Edward and me. She was a spoiled brat who thought she could have any man she wanted. Why would you want him? Not to say anything against your husband and that, he just didn't seem her type. I don't know. I'm talking about a dead girl here. I'm going to just shut up now before I say something stupid. 
Too late for that. Would you have been with you at the time of the crime? Oh, yes. And there were plenty of witnesses at the grocery store where we were shopping. Is my husband in some sort of trouble? That's what Do we're you trying to find out. To think he might be? Of course not. Edward is as wonderful a husband as he is a physician. And you must know what an outstanding reputation he has in this community. Not a clue. I'm going to see the truck. As advertised, it's an L160 4.6 liter V8 engine. Standard transmission. Nice wheels for a second car, huh? Only a couple hundred clicks on the odometer. Tires. All seasons. Let's get a sample. Do we do we it like that? Use that here. Or do I cast it? We can't use that here. I didn't mean to do that. We can't use that here. We can't use that here. Surely I want to... Right. Normally you should say, you know, try a similar tool. Okay, that wasn't what I was trying... Yeah, no, that's what, not what I was trying to do. What's that? Receipt for firewood. Remember the good old days when you chopped your own? No data on it, but the order was phoned in. If need be, we can ask Brass to pull phone records for us and find exactly when the good doc called in the order. Well, we'll take it just so we've got it. Wood chips. Well, that backs up Wilkinson saying he hauled firewood in the truck. Let's take some. Or all of them then. And we got stains. Thick and sticky. Greg will tell us what it is. Pretty sure it's sap, dude. Alright. This is going much smoother now. What do you need? I need you to check that. Little bits of oak. Dried, apparently. Firewood. That's the point. Dried firewood. It wouldn't leave sap. You won't do anything with that. This is your everyday, run-of-the-mill red oak sap. Now, the sap you brought from the truck matches the sap on the Vic's clothes. Very likely she was in the back of the pickup. All right. So, we got a link there. Let's go search and compare. Match it's a found. Match yep. to the tracks from the garden. The dock, or the dock's truck, that is. Has spent some time here recently. And what about? Well, we already know it's a match. They follow but... Sophia in the gardens and wait. Before they know it, the prey passes out. They toss her in the back of the truck and drive her lifeless body to the casino loading bay. There, they slide her body off the bed and into a barrel. Why though? I'm not seeing the motive. Of course, this whole theory fizzles if Wilkinson picked up the firewood after Sophia's murder. We should prove that wasn't the case. So that means going to brass, then. I'm assuming, since that's still got a silver, it means that it wants us to do this. No? Does it want us to do that? Why is this still marked as this should be marked as yellow? All right, All there we go. Tires from Wilkinson's truck. Not a big surprise. They We've follow... seen this. Brass. Getting a lot of pressure from the mayor's office on this one, as you might well expect. So we put some extra resources on it. A worker at the Desert Gardens claims to have found something important, and Grissom is checking that out. He'll brief us when he gets back. Meantime, keep at it. Fair enough. We've got Grissom working this as well now. Alright. Let me pull his cell phone records and see. He called for that order three days ago. But wait, just one minute. He was placing several calls a day to that pharmacy for a while there. That pharmacist and Wilkinson may not be telling all just yet. Alright, so... Yeah. Bring her in. I think we can get much more than an interrogation, but that's a good place to start. Solid work, guys. Ms. Callisto, we would like to ask you a few more questions. Yeah. We'd like you to fill in a few of the blanks you left last time we talked. Are you having an affair with Dr. Wilkinson? No, but I was before last week when he got paranoid about his wife finding out. 
Typical of the breed, you know. Promised me the moon, then weasels back to wifey. Now I don't exist to him. Who cares? Last week, you say? That's about the time the Doc's spare truck key did a David Copperfield and vanished. I'm sure that would be fascinating to someone who gave it down. Ooh, someone's got an attitude. Maximine order. Scribbled, I read his lousy writing, filled his prescription, he picked it up. Okay, when you last see the truck? I saw it parked outside the hospital last week. Nothing unusual about it? It's a pickup truck. It wasn't the Rose Bowl float. Well, there was some scuffing in the back, dented even. Maybe he'd been hauling firewood or something. Interesting you should bring that up. And I'm sure you'll tell me why. Dr. Wilkinson ordered that load of firewood two days ago. This is so fascinating. I'm starting to wish I took notes. You see, Lita, only some Your attitude changed a lot since I last spoke to you. Those scuffs and dents. Maybe somebody who used the truck to haul something heavy. A body in a barrel, say? You're crazy. Do I look like a killer to you? You're starting to. DNA sample. Sure. Knock yourself out. All right. We got other people to interrogate. What do for you? Get Dr. Wilkinson in. No problem. He was playing doctor with Sophia, and his truck was at the gardens. Let's do it. Dr. Wilkinson, we're looking at the evidence and seeing a big arrow pointing in your direction. Make it easier on everyone, and yourself included, and just level with us. What do you say, Doc? Did you have an affair with Sophia? She was a beautiful young woman, and she flattered me. Ever hear of a midlife crisis? She was mine. My wife found out, and I realized how foolish I'd been, and broke it off with a girl. I didn't tell you because of how it looked. And how does it look now? I know I didn't kill the girl. She just didn't mean that much to me, frankly. The evidence tells a different story, Doctor. Why was the sapling truck found on the victim's body? What? Are you saying... Was Sophia's body in my truck? That's not possible. What kind of a frame-up is this anyway? It's outrageous. Okay, what's your relationship with Leda Castillo? You know I don't about say that, that, do you? Okay, so I have a roving eye, and maybe the rest roves along too sometimes. That doesn't mean I killed anybody. But, uh, look, keep this from my wife, would you? DNA sample, please. Of course. Haven't I been straight with you here? I'm trying to cooperate. Ask anybody. I take my civic responsibilities very seriously. So do I. That's why I get to sit there and play swabby what swabby. Can I do for you? And finally. Well, she had access to this truck. She didn't love the victim and didn't seem terribly surprised about the murder. A judge will okay bring her in. Mrs. Wilkinson, you were not the biggest fan of our murder victim. And the details of the crime indicate you may have been involved in the murder. What an outrageous, ludicrous spectacle you people are making of yourselves. Now, now. When did you last drive the truck? Oh, let me see. I believe it was... Oh, yes, that's right. Never. You've never driven it. Your husband says you have a spare set of keys. I do. But I couldn't drive it if my life depended on it. It's a stick shift, and I'm strictly an automatic female. She hitting on you, then. Ever heard of the name Leda? No, can't say I have. And she wouldn't be another one of Edward's little chippies, would she? If so, she's free to get herself murdered, too, as far as I'm concerned. You're not helping yourself here. Why, certainly. Anything I can do to help the forces of justice in their efforts to disrupt our lives, trample our good reputation, and violate our privacy. Man, the women in this game have got attitude. Okay, now, just do me job. Grego. Hey, guys. What's up? All right, Mrs. Wilkinson. Not a match. Hair from the tissue is not Mrs. Wilkinson's. The doctor is out. Hair from the tissue package doesn't match the guy. That leaves. And we have a winner. Lita's DNA matches the hair found in the tissue. Okay. Man, that's a lot of evidence for Trace. Back to brass. What can I do for you? I think we can get much more than an interrogation, 
but that's a good place to start. You already said that. Solid work, guys. Your DNA matches. Which you seem to find meaningful. I don't. It's meaningful, all right. Meaning you had access to the truck and to the tissue that killed Sofia Benedetti, and you even had a motive. If I had a grudge, and I don't, it wouldn't be with that little slut. That That's sounds right. like a grudge. Your grudge was with the doctor, not his rich girl patient. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it went something like this. That was an opportunity you were prepared for. You already forged the Maximine order in Wilkinson's name and sprinkled some of the stuff on a tissue packet. Unaware a tiny hair of yours had drifted down onto one of them. The day Sophia went to the gardens, you gave her the package of tissues. She thinks you're being nice, but really you've just signed her death sentence. You leave the pharmacy and go out to Wilkinson's and borrow the truck. You know he and his missus are on their weekly grocery trip. Just a matter of time, right? Before Sophia's allergies kicked in, and she'd wipe or blow her nose with one of those deadly tissues. You were right there and waiting, ready when she collapsed. And you drove over and slid her up on the truck bed and into the barrel. The drop-off at the casino didn't take long. And no one noticed as vehicles were coming and going. The truck was back in the garage before the Wilkinsons could even know it was missing. You're a smug pair, aren't you? Yeah. You killed a young woman just to get back at your ex-lover. What's more smug than that? Stop. I'll bust out crying. Can I get you a tissue? Lol. Good job. Another sicko off the streets. Strange, though. I don't get why she tipped us about that body to begin with. It almost feels like she was playing with us somehow. Anyway. Well, rookie, Grissom's still out in the field, so I'll do your review on this case. Fair enough. Damn. Hey, good job. A couple of things you skipped over, but otherwise decent. Percentage is just dropping slowly. <laughs> oh well. But we're going to call it there for this video. Now we've completed the fourth case. We're moving on to the fifth and final one next time. And it's going to be a good one. See you later guys. Bye bye.